kind of hard to breathe in this thing. Come on, tell me already. Oh no. What happened? He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. Gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny-looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. Nah, he was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. Yeah? Well, there is Will. He was sorta of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. Well, his mom was nice too. She was kind of quiet, but she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. He was like... Always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Yeah, Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. We explored pretty much every bit of Grey Ditch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. Yeah? Alright. What is it? Be careful! Or those things might get you. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formicidae. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete.
I hope things are going well with you today, sir. It's good to see you alive and well, sir. Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Bless you. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and be You wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom. You know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. Now I've heard about you. A little goody two shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah. the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? <laughs> oh, what's up? Sure thing.
Good hunting. You got caps for me? Then there ain't no problem. Keep up the great research, super assistant. Don't try. Anything. Books coming along well, thanks to you. What's next? 